If someone sprained an ankle, knee or elbow, you can use a bandage to support the limb. To make sure you give the right kind of support, bend the joint slightly and apply an ice pack and padding, and then a bandage to help cool and support the injury. You need to wrap it either side of the injury too, to give enough support for the whole area. We're going to demonstrate this technique on an ankle, but you could use it for an elbow or a knee. To bandage an ankle, use a roller bandage. Make sure you have the ankle raised and supported to start with, and then apply an ice pack and some padding. Using the roller bandage, start with the tail and put it to the inside of the foot and then wrap it around one and a half times just to make sure that it doesn't come off. I'm just going to lift up your leg a little bit. Okay. It's important to bandage from the toes to the knee because you need to make sure that you cover from the joint before to the joint after the injury site and then just keep on going around and around. So keep on going until you get to the knee. And then if you can, wrap the bandage around twice when you get to the knee and then just pin it in place. Does that feel okay? To check circulation, squeeze the toenail for five seconds. When you let go, the colour should return within two seconds. If it doesn't, it means the bandage is too tight and you need to loosen it off and reapply it. Keep checking the circulation every 10 minutes because the ankle may still swell. So remember, when you're bandaging a sprain, apply an ice pack and then cover the injury with padding. Apply a roller bandage to hold the ice pack and padding in place and to help support the injury. Check circulation every 10 minutes and keep the injury elevated. And that's how we bandage a sprain.